Hello, and welcome, welcome to episode 4 of my Better Than Wolves Let's Play. The plan for this episode is to get my farm set up. So, to do that, I'm going to have to flatten the train. I'm also going to have to gather, gather some resources. I haven't got a lot of wood left. And I'm going to need lots of wood. I'm going to need a lot of glass. <coughs> get some cobble do a bit of terraforming but obviously I'm planning to do all of that there's a bit of a time lapse so what have we got on me I've got an iron axe so I might just quickly use up the rest of this iron axe um, so I'll do a quick before and after as always Do do do. That'll do nicely. Um. Yeah. That'll do. So, I've got a little bit more wood now. As you can still see, some of the leaves are still disappearing. That Enderman's trying desperately to get under my crosshair. Bastard. I might eat some apples. Since I'm getting hungry. But yeah, got a decent amount of wood, lots of saplings obviously, some apples, used up the rest of that axe. <coughs> so now, I should probably get this quarry started. So yeah, I want a quite an open design, slowly expanding deeper and wider as I go. I'm not 100% sure where to put it. I don't want it in the complex where I'm going to be building my houses. I don't want it to get in the way of this mini ravine I've got going on. I can't really have it in the wood. It's going to end up quite big and open, my plan. Quite epic looking, so I'm going to need a lot of space. I could place it here, but it might go into the desert a bit. But then that might be quite cool, I guess. Yeah, here's, here's a good place as any, isn't it? So this is my little watching corner. Although, actually, a bit closer to the edge. That's good. Um, I might do this montage with, you know, without the UI. That blocks a bit. Fuck it, this will do, this will do. This will do nicely. I've just got a mark. Where the hell am I going to stare? Meh, we'll give it a go. So as you can see, the quarry is coming along quite nicely now, but it's taking quite a lot of time. And before I sink too much time into that, I want to get the hemp farm up and running, because it takes a long time for the hemp to grow. But um, before I can do that, I need to sort out this landscape. So I might just quickly flatten this. I've got a lot of dirt, obviously, from digging that hole, so it should be quite easy to... Um, flatten all this up and fill in all the holes so I might quickly do that now there we go that's a bit flatter a bit easier to work with um, I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to place the farms I think I might have them like here and here because I want a hemp and a wheat maybe zombie maybe room to expand the hemp farm eventually. Um, not really sure. I'm going to need a bit more wood. I've got to put... Sorry, I'm a little bit pissed. I've had a few beers 
while making that quarry. No, I'm struggling to make sentences. Not the best time to do a let's play, really. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're going to put a hemp farm here, and I'm going to build it so it can hold up to 64 bits of hemp at one time. Just because it's a nice round number. So, the montage for that will begin shortly. I'm going to do a bit more quarry. Um, I think now what I'm going to do is quickly light up the area. In kind of a grid fashion. I'm kind of in preparation for building the wall. So, I'm just going to quickly get onto that. There we go. We've got the um, startings of our torch grid laid out. I know it looks a bit naff, but keeps the mobs away. I don't want to play on easy, but I do like a safe little house, especially when you're trying to set up complicated farms and housing and pens and stuff. So yeah, that's what it's called for. I'm thinking about laying out the foundations for the hemp farm. So I've got an idea how big it's got to be. So I might quickly throw that down. I think I'll build it. I think I'll build it here. So. We'll see. We'll see. So there we have it. That's the shell for my hop farm. Hop. Bloody hell, you can tell I've been drinking. Hemp. So, sunlight to let through. Glass to let through the sunlight. God, I'm smashed. Because, um, yeah, lightning can set fire to hemp. Uh, I know the rain will probably put it out quite quick, but I don't want to risk it. But I um, need to get some buckets of water going down these channels. And then I'll be ready to go. It's got to hoe the grass, irrigate it. I'll be good to go. Although I've only got about eight hemp seeds at the moment, so I'm going to need to hoe a large area to increase my hemp seed count. Obviously make some buckets, maybe build a little well here so I've got infinite water. But I might call that enough recording for today. There'll still be more in this episode but I'm going to come back to this when I've got a clear head. So yeah I'll be back in a sec, hopefully sober and make it much more sense. Bye. Hey, hello, welcome back. It's been a couple of days, so I am sober. So the plan is, I'm going to need to get some more hemp seeds. I've only got about eight, and I want 64 to plant up, or at least 16, because it does take a while to get hemp seeds, and obviously the hemp plant is too high, and every time you harvest the top of it, you get a piece of hemp, and you get a chance to get some seeds, so you slowly get more seeds. Um, I'm going to quickly just hoe down this. I've got a couple of hoes. Whoa, my inventory's a mess. Drunken Minecraft. But um, rather than kind of phase in and phase out, I thought I'd kind of do some hyperspeed hoeing. So I'll give that a go. Yeah. Well, there we have it. I've got through two iron hoes. I've got 18 hemp. And I've already got 10 in here, so we've got 28 hemp. I'm going to have to quickly build a well so I can have infinite water. Because I haven't actually got a well yet. Um, I've played for a while. Remember where I keep everything? So I'm going to quickly venture forth and grab some water and I'll put a little well down here so I shall return shortly with a nice new fancy well see you in a sec there we go now we have our well nothing fancy but useful supply of infinite water and then I've put two water channels in the hemp farm so that I can hoe the ground oh, seeds. get this farm up and running. I know there's probably much better ways to build farms, more efficient, less likely of treading on the soil, 
just making kind of pride of mine car and it harvesters itself and all that stuff. But I'm fine with this. It goes 64 at a time. I can just run around the edges, punching off all the top bits of hemp. And the stuff I don't collect from the walkways, I can just ride the water down. And I've put stairs at the end, so you can just jump on in, ride down, and you'll get pretty much all of it. I don't know. It's simple, but it works, so it's fine by me. <coughs> so we've got 29 bits of hemp now. So we can finally start growing some hemp. So yeah, this is going to take a while to grow. And when it's grown, I need to process it using a hand crank, which I shall build shortly. But we don't need to worry about that yet until we've actually got some hemp. <coughs> so, yeah, the starting to the hemp production. For now, I could also do with getting some wheat. Nice wheat farm. I might not make it as complex as this, I'll have to build it outdoors. Put a little fence around it. And then I'll throw up some pens so we can start breeding sheep, chickens for their eggs, and then cows for the leather. And I could also look towards getting this wall constructed so I feel safe and cosy. Um, for that obviously I'm going to need quite a lot of stone. So, it never hurts to get busy with the old quarry. So let's get stuck in with that. I might continue doing this as a slow phase building rather than sped up because that sped up thing's a bit crazy. So we'll, we'll do a few more layers of this quickly. Just made that a little bit deeper. It's got me some more stone. Um, I think I might quickly mark down the surroundings. the farm. Um, I'll still do this old school montage. -y. So yeah, let's just quickly throw up a farm. Throw up a farm. <laughs> Sounds horrible. Yeah. Build a farm. I'm gonna build a farm. There we go. That's the um farm finished. Very simple. Just gotta put a gate in. But I've actually run out of wood, so just need to grab a bit of wood before I can take construction any further really in the village. It's going quite well. I've got a hop farm, hop farm. I've got a hemp farm and a wheat farm. Quarries underway. Just need to pack down a few more trees. And then we'll be able to maybe think about finding a wolf really I guess because once the hemp's grown obviously I've got to build the hand cranking area that will later become the windmill but once that's grown up we've got the windmill <coughs> we need to acquire some leather and then we tan that leather and that's when we need the wolf done for the tanning leather so I shall quickly go about a bit of mass deforestation There we go, gathered a bit more wood, along with a lot of saplings. So now hopefully I can... Wheat's coming along nicely as you can see, I can get that fence built. If I can remember the recipe, which I can. <sighs> There we have our wheat farm. I've found the occasional hemp seed while I've been accidentally, not accidentally, but digging up grass. So I've managed to plant this up, so we've got a full 32 growing at the moment. And as I, like I said, they come along very slowly. So we could do with just a bit of good old fashioned exploring down a cave, try to get hold of some diamonds, and maybe get another portal set up as well as getting down that quarry. I've got a decent amount of stone. Well, no, I haven't. I've got a pitiful amount of stone. need to get a lot more stone to build a wall. Get plenty of mud if I ever want to do any large-scale terraforming. But, uh, get quite a lot of saplings. I'm going to have to start planting these soon. Um, got 
got some wood now, which is nice. It's always a nightmare if you haven't got enough wood. You always want to be having plenty of wood. So, a bit of stone, a bit of wood, got my bones just in case I bump into a wolf, got my bucket of water just in case I set myself on fire, I haven't really got a lot of food, I've got a hoe that's about to break. But yeah, we could do with a couple of extra diamonds to set up a portal to the nether, and we could also do with that wall around the community, but I might call that it for this episode. And plans for next episode will be to uh, spend a lot of time down that quarry, get a horrendous amount of stone, build the wall, and then set up what's going to be the windmill, but obviously I haven't got the materials required for a windmill yet. So it will be just the hand crank, hand cranked, grinding stone, millstone. So I'll show you that. Now, at least getting towards some of the better than wolves content now. And um yeah, get a portal off and running. And get a cauldron so I can cook some food. But for the cauldron to um stay heated, you need a source of constant flame, so that's why we need to go to the nether to bring back some netherrack so I can set fire to it and build a little campfire. So yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.